Hello and welcome to the sixth episode of the Augie's Instinctive Flying Technique. This is a course to teach people how to fly instinctively using uh, the uh, same methods that uh, we use when we are kids to learn walking and all kind of abilities. So uh, this is the one that will teach you how and why I rename the stick for the rudder into the near and far stick. So let me show sticks here. Okay. So this here is your pitch stick and this is what everybody calls the rudder stick. Okay. The thing is that this applies fairly nicely for airplanes, you know, because, uh, you know, they actually are a rudder. Now on a helicopter, here are actually the rotations, the pirating, pirating directions of the helicopter, you know, pirating to the left, pirating to the right, because it can actually uh, stay in one spot, like when it's hovering, and you can pirate to one side or the other. Now, the problem with the helicopter is that in, uh, unlike an airplane, the airplane you can fly pretty much with only this stick here. You can go bank left, pull, bank right, and you start. You, know, you continue flying straight, and then bank right, pull, and then bank left to go. And then the tail will follow the airplane as a weather vane. The rudder of the airplane does not need you to do any of this stuff unless you're doing like a knife edge or you know, can you go like this and then and then um, change directions of the rudder to keep on the knife, knife edge and things like that. Also, you use this uh, for takeoff and also for control control descent without getting speed and things like that on an airplane. Now, on a helicopter, uh, that's not the case. On a helicopter, you have to control this stick and make the heli turn as it makes a turn when you're flying. So what happens is that because it's not weather vaning, this uh, stick needs to be controlled, you know, consciously controlled or unconsciously when you learn these this, uh, methods, you know. So let's uh, start talking about that. Okay, so let's go and turn on the training. We go to training, helicopter training, no collective training. In the case of, in the case of next, you will have, it is going to be called Pyro Trainer or Pyro Trainer, and you can uh, turn it on by pressing the, the, the key Z as in zebra and then adjusting the height instead of in here. It goes, it's going to be with uh, some arrows going up and down. Okay, so I'm going to start the motor and start the training and I put it three meters so that we can see only sky around us. Okay, right, so. Um, now, the question on why I had to rename it to make it easy for people to understand is very simple. Uh, like I said before, in the case of an airplane, the airplane weather vanes, and you can make the airplane simply direct it with an aileron and elevator, and the tail is going to just be behind always because of the weather vaning of the air. Passing. Now on the helicopter you actually have to do a turn, you do like that, and then when you start turning you have to also be doing the turning of the tail at the same time, right? And then you level, continue forward, okay? And you do again, let's say you are turning there and you have to give it a little bit of, of rudder you can continue doing the turning, right? Now the question is always, which way do I need to turn the elevator? Actually, you know what? Let me uh, change the height of this because I want you to look at it from sort of like the top kind of a thing. So let's do it at one meter. Okay, let's first start here. So we're looking at the helicopter now, on an orientation of the helicopter that is uh, either right side up 
or upside down. So depending on which one of the two, you need to learn to perceive the helicopter in a different way. Don't forget that this course relies on mostly perceiving the helicopter in a different way so that your brain is more comfortable with the perception or the new perception that I'm teaching you here and it's more being more comfortable it makes it easier for the brain to go into instinctive mode and not into the um, the um, conscious mode that you have to to think about what you're doing okay so let's continue here now notice something right we're gonna have what I'm gonna move it a little bit to the right so that we can actually um, we can actually do it exactly exactly here you know that's what we're gonna be doing it. so I'm gonna press S in the case of um, next you press F to uh, store the new location for your takeoff okay so I'm going to go here again and the reason why I want to do that is because I want to be able to just look at it and direct it exactly as the same lines that we have on the grass here. Okay, now um, we're going to um, do a convention which is calling the side where you see these mountains, okay, the far side, and our side here, you know, where we are, we're going to call it the near side. So far side over there, near side here. And it never changes, you know, no matter what you're doing, when you're flying, anywhere you're flying, whatever is away from us is the far side, and whatever is close to us is the near side. So, with that convention, then the rule that you need to learn is very simple. This stick, the one that you call until now a rudder, controls only two things, near side and far side. And the rule changes whether the helicopter is right side up or inverted. So right now we have the helicopter directing with the nose on the far side. Notice that I can do left and the nose move left, left, and if I do right, the, mo the nose move, moves uh, right. So what happens is if I go the tail back? Okay. Now the tail is in the far side, correct? Is is pointing towards the um, the mountains right so guess what happens if I move left oh the tail moves left if I move right oh it's always the same as the nose look at that left the tail left and right so let's put the nose on that way okay left nose right nose oh look at that let's take this side you know this is the right side of the helicopter well let's put it facing the far side right so what is facing the mountains the right side of the helicopter so if it's flying like that and I want to turn to the left, I take that side, the one in the mountain, I turn it to the left or turn to the right. So it's not only the nose and the tail, it's anything. Let's say this left side of the helicopter now is facing the mountains, right? So if I want to move to the left, same thing, left, move to the left and move to the right. So this, this means that now our stick is not a rudder stick but a far stick that's it so it controls the far side all the time controls the far side look at that left now the tail left now the nose left now that side here left the other side also left see that then let's do that same side to the right now the tail to the right the other side to the right the nose to the right see anything that is on the side of the mountains that's what you control here. And why is that important? Because then you need to only look at the helicopter and know whether the helicopter is right side up or, or upside down. And if it's right side up, you immediately take control by saying, okay, I'm going to, whatever I, I do is going to move that thing that is in the back side away from us, the far side. So whether if the helicopter is going away from you, then of course you control the nose by doing that. But let's say the helicopter is coming towards you and you go like which way do i do i have to well they see it's easy you know the tail is, is away from you so you can move to the left or to the right or whatever you want to do 
is that simple so it is just simply left and right for that that's all there is to it no more absolutely no more mystery to it that's all there is to it now the rule changes and it's very simple let's say we're gonna go inverted okay when it's inverted look at what happens anything that's pointing towards me the near side now I control see the nose is on my side so I go left and right on the nose left and right and we go the tail tail to the right tail to the right and left right and left this side of the helicopter right we go right and left right and left so anything that is facing off in the near side it will automatically react to our input like that right left right left right left. this skid right the uh, that would be the right the right skid to the right or left doesn't matter you don't even give it name just look at the thing that thing there that whatever that thing is you know that thing is a nose now okay fine that thing is a skid uh, that's closer to us yeah right or left that thing is a tail you know the thing don't even give it name you simply perceive the thing that is close to you and that's what you're controlling why is that important thinking about the thing because it applies to drones to anything anything you want it's the same thing always so it doesn't need to have um, a tail and a nose or a side or something it's simply any device that it's able to hover and fly in any direction you control the near side when it's inverted okay or the far side when it's um, when it's uh, right side up is that simple right side up far side right side up far side far side far side far side see tail 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 nose 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 tail 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 see it's a simple oh I flip it over now it's nose 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 tail 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 or whatever this side of the of the heli the skates whatever it doesn't matter this thing that is long that is towards us now is the pointy thing that is pointing towards us now is the flat side that is pointing towards us now is the other side so it's always right left right left see do this exercise a lot and get used to controlling it like that using the pure trainer and do this a lot and, and and think on whatever is coming this way that way and then flip it over and now you control the right side the far side you know? nose 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 there tail 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 see and that's it that's exactly the way you find your orientation so if the helicopter is doing whatever right anything that is going on here right? and then you go all right i'm trying to <laughs> because that is too close to the yeah it's uh okay i need to have a little more height to be able to do those those uh, flips uh, one meter 1.5 meter okay let's see yeah i can do that now so let's say helicopter is like this you know all of a sudden you you're you're looking at the helicopter and say, oh what way you don't even have to think look at the nose it's close to you see that right left right left and if the helicopter was like that left left in the middle of maneuver like that you go like whoa i control the tail look at that see the nose the tail so forth and so on right and let's say the helicopter you know went this way they were like which way simple it is the far side so right i'm sorry left and right left and right left and right and if it was left like that left and right so let's uh, take a look at that you know let's uh turn off the trainer okay stop training perfect so now let's let's try uh, flying so when we go flying this is what happens right we go forward and go mode two okay forward and then now it's the is the far side because it is um uh right side up now the tail left right left right tail see that now and if we go and turn around let's say right now who is uh, away from us the nose right and left right and left and when we turn is right and left see let me bring it closer so you can see it better okay so 
so the tail right and left tail and now the nose right and left nose so we turn around here now the tail see left and straight now okay and now it's going to be the nose right and left nose now if we turn around the tail is right, left and right tail see right left okay and same one same way when we are uh, pointing to, uh, to the sky you think of the upside as the far side and now right and left on the nose and try <coughs> right and left on the on the tail okay same thing here okay right and left right and left tail same way okay so that is on the on the um, right side up and now is the close see? If we go, um, let me go this way. Okay, see, right and left, and now right and left on the tail. So that's exactly the way you do a turn, because now you have the uh, close side under control, right? So if you're gonna go this way, you push the tail that way, see, to the right. Okay. And we're going to do the same. I'm going to push the nose to the right now. See that? And if you go this way, now I'm going to push the tail that way. See that? To the left. Okay. So it pretty much um, works in, in any direction. So if it's right side up, far side. See that? Far side nose right left tail right left okay and if it's inverted then it's a uh, close side nose and so yeah so then you can simply by practicing that then um, like for instance when I have to think about it I get confused because I, I have to actually consciously I think what I have to say when I'm teaching the the course, but if I have to, if I am like my, like right now, right, I'm not talking about it. I'm simply flying around. My body and my my fingers are doing everything automatically, without realizing what it is, you know, because I'm used to it. Now, the moment I go and I think consciously what I need to do, then I have the same problem that you have to have that you have when you have to think about it, you know. So that's the way it works. So far side, okay, right, left, ta left um, tail, right. left and right nose, same way, and it's inverted, it's then the close side. So you can see right and left, okay, and um, And uh, same thing, you know, see, left tail, right tail, and now the nose, okay. You're going to do right nose, left nose, right nose, left nose, tail, and so forth. So it's the same thing always, you know. But I hope you get to the point that if you have to explain it, you get confused, like how, what happens to me. If I have to explain it, I start getting... I have no idea what I what I'm doing because I have to think. And but once you you go into that mode, you know, into the mode that you are uh, unconsciously flying, then your your fingers will do it all for you without any problem. One other thing that I, uh, that I wanted to to show you is that to fly around, you don't necessarily need to have control look at look at my tail right I'm not gonna move it look at this you know? so you can you can do things like this right let's say um, let me go inverted okay here okay so I, I can fly it like an airplane like bank and turn see that bank and turn or the other way bank and turn See that? 
So if you practice this, then it's very little what you need to to learn when when you are um uh because uh, then then it's like it's like flying an airplane, right? And then what you do is you add a little bit of control on the tail. That's why I always say use um, a 50% expo because then you will notice that you will have to use very little tail for all the other corrections, right? Now you can call your um, uh, stick the far and near stick. Forget far and near stick. That's the way you do it. All right, and uh, <clears throat> please um, don't forget to click on subscribe and also click on the notification because when you do, you will get the latest upload automatically sent to you via email, the link to it. So doing so will keep you updated on each one of these episodes as they are being uh, upload it okay thank you very much and i hope you guys have fun and don't forget this is a hobby it's supposed to be fun so enjoy yourself bye bye please don't forget to click on subscribe and then on the notifications all that will allow you to receive a notification when a new video for this course is uploaded thank you mm -hmm.